done. I'm gonna move on to the intake. So, just got the stock air box now. And we're going to install a cold air intake from DC Sports. Okay, so, after normally the air filter sits like this, so disconnect the MAF sensor, loosen this hose right here, and then take off this clamp, and then top to your air filter will pop out. So then we have these three bolts here that we need to go ahead and take out. All right, here's the tray. So that's where the three bolts are. This just comes right off. There's the little intake right here. I just snapped, popped right off. And then this tab right here, right here, was just in this little thing. I just pushed on it. There's a little release there and it popped right out. So, so that part is out. I'll continue. I gotta go get my intake actually and take a peek because this part right here, this will all have to come out. Get the bumper off and uh, route everything. So that will be the next step. All right, well, Here's the OEM air box, which is extremely convoluted. But uh, this piece right here and this piece right here, kind of a pain in the butt to get out, but uh, persevere and just look for all the bolts. There's uh, a couple things. The directions told me to remove the fender liner to get to it all um i'm sure you could probably remove the bumper too i'm wondering if that might have been easier but i was just kind of going by what dc sports was saying well i think that their uh directions could probably be improved the pictures they provided are horrible black and white and you can hardly tell what they are but uh anyway so you get that out we're going to have a lot more space now. Here's the tube coming in from the where the air filter will be, and that is up under the fender well. So I can get it to show you. See? So, so that kind of goes in there. You see a couple of bolts and they got rubber on them for vibration isolation so air filter will mount right there and uh, cool air from up under the fender will come up and into the intake so we shall continue and uh, go from the startup let's see what it sounds like on startup 